Hello guys, how are you? I hope so that you will be fine and enjoying good health. Today I have selected a topic on cardiac myxoma, which is a primary heart tumor in adults. Cardiac myxoma is the most common primary heart tumor in adults and it usually forms in your left atrium. Myxomas are not cancerous but they can still be life threatening if they interfere with your heart function. People diagnosed with a myxoma need surgery to remove the tumor and prevent serious complications like an embolism. What is a myxoma? A cardiac myxoma is a tumor that affects your heart. It's the most common non-cancerous primary cardiac tumor. Myxomas vary in size. Some are as small as 1 cm in diameter. Others can be as large as 15 cm. About 74% of all myxomas form in your left atrium, which is the top left chamber of your heart. About 18% form in your right atrium. Most myxomas are known as atrial myxomas because they form in your upper heart chambers. The rest 8% form in your ventricles lower chambers. Myxomas usually grow from your atrial septum and this is the muscular well that uh, uh, separates your left atrium and right atrium and they are usually connected to the septum by pedicle which is a stalk that allows the myxoma to be mobile or pedunculated. The uh, tumor can move and sway sometimes dropping into one of your heart wells and causing problems with blood flow. Myxomas are not cancerous but they are still dangerous because they can interfere with your heart function and uh, that's why the people who have myxomas need surgery to remove the tumors and prevent serious complications. Uh, myxomas usually affect the people aged 30 to 60 years and, and myxomas are more common among women and people designated female at birth DFAB compared with men and people designated male at birth DMAB. These trends are different for people who have carnage complex. The genetic syndrome causes multiple myxomas in your heart and the other parts of your body. People with carnage complex are usually diagnosed with myxomas in their early 20s and they are more likely to be men and those M D M A B. How common are the myxomas? Primary heart tumors that begin in your heart affects fewer than 1 in 2,000 people. About half of all primary heart tumors are myxomas. Myxomas can interfere with the blood flow throughout your body and within your heart. The complications might include embolism. An embolism is a blocked blood vessel that occurs when a blood clot or other particle gets stuck. Some myxomas have a friable, crumbly texture. A piece can break off travel through your blood and get stuck somewhere in your body and the blood clots can also form on the myxoma and eventually break off embolisms are the most common complications of cardiac myxomas the effects vary based on the blood vessel gets blocked a blockage affecting blood flow to your brain can cause a stroke or cva and valve obstructions might occur myxomas often occur or grow on a stalk and swing back and forth within your heart chamber as blood flows through. If a myxoma swings into a valve opening, it can temporarily block the blood flow through the, that valve. This often happens in your mitral valve, which connects your left atrium and left ventricle. This plug and unplug process can disrupt the smooth transport of the blood through your heart and into your body. What are the symptoms of a myxoma? The symptoms of myxoma are based on where it's located within your heart and how it's affecting your body. You may experience fever, lethargy, lack of energy, and night sweats, not phenomenon, shortness of breath with physical activity, shortness of breath or fainting when you stand. This is because gravity pulls the tumor into your mitral valve, causing your blood pressure to temporarily drop weight loss. Most myxoma do not have an unclear cause, but Carney's complex causes about 10% of cases. If your biological family has a history of this syndrome, it's important to tell your healthcare provider about it. And healthcare provider diagnose myxoma through a physical exam and test. Myxoma sometimes takes a while to diagnose because their symptoms resemble the symptoms of other conditions. During your physical exam, your health care provider will listen to your heart with a stethoscope. A myxoma may cause a heart murmur, 
that has a characteristic tumor plop sound. This is the sound of the myxoma temporarily blocking your mitral valve. Your healthcare provider also talk with you about your symptoms and changes in how you have been feeling. If they suspect you have a myxoma or another heart problem, they will run imaging tests. Imaging tests are essential for diagnosing myxoma. Your healthcare provider may run one or more of the following tests such as echocardiogram. A transthoracic echo can usually show a myxoma. But you may also need a transesophageal echo to check for small tumors or to see where a tumor attaches to your heart. Then cardiac MRI can be done and cardiac CT scans are recommended. A blood test may also reveal signs of myxoma including low red blood cells, anemia and low platelet count thrombocytopenia. High white blood cell count which indicate inflammation. These blood test findings do not necessarily mean you have a myxoma. They could be due to other cause, but combined with imaging tests and exam finding, they can help your healthcare provider reach a diagnosis. What is management and treatment? If you have been diagnosed with myxoma, you will need surgery to remove the tumor. Your healthcare provider will tell you about what to expect and how to prepare. It's important to remove myxoma right away. Myxomas put you at high risk of embolism life-threatening complications. People with myxomas generally have a good outlook. Surgery can usually remove myxomas and prevent them from coming back. But about 1-2% to 2 of people develop new myxomas within 10-15 to 15 years of their surgery and recurrence is more common among people who have Carney's complex. This is why your healthcare provider will recommend routine imaging tests if you have a history of myxomas and these tests can detect the formation of new myxomas and lower your risk of future complications. People who have had myxomas face a greater risk of atrial arrhythmias, rhythm problems in the upper chambers of your heart and your healthcare provider will discuss you with risk and prescribe medications if needed. Call your healthcare provider right away if you have any symptoms of myxoma. These symptoms may indicate another heart problem rather than a myxoma, but for any heart problem, it's important to get checked and receive treatment early before things progress too far. If you have been diagnosed with a myxoma, your healthcare provider will let you know how often you need to return for follow-ups and when you need surgery. If you have had surgery to remove a myxoma, carefully follow your healthcare provider's instructions for recovery and follow-ups. What questions should I ask my provider? Talk with your provider about your diagnosis and plan going forward. You may want to ask how large is the myxoma? How is the myxoma affecting my heart? Do I have more than one tumor? When will I need surgery? Do I need any medication to manage symptoms or complications? How often do I need to come back for follow-ups or additional tests? So learning you have Hey, heart tumor can feel scary and unsettling, but the good news is that myxomas can usually be removed through surgery and about 98% of people never get them again. If you have Carney's complex, you face a higher risk of recurrence, but visiting your healthcare provider for routine echocardiograms can help catch any signs of a new tumor before it leads to complications. If you need surgery, talk with your healthcare provider about what to expect and what recovery will be like. It's all important to talk with your healthcare provider about your risk of arrhythmias or other problems with your heart electrical system. You may need medication to manage issues even after the tumors have been removed. So I think this topic uh, was a more informative one for the audience so if you have liked my video then don't forget to subscribe my channel and share this video with others as well and thank you for listening this video and have a wonderful nice day thank you very much